Hello again, welcome to this uh, video continuing the uh, Boeing 737 normal procedures tutorials. In the last video, we covered the uh, OPT first part setup, and uh, now we assume that the uh, pre flights have been completed for, uh, both for the uh, FO floor and the captain floor as well, and the CTU pre flights have been completed. So uh, now the uh, terminal advise you of the uh, load that you have on board the airplane and you are clear to start so as an effort go ahead in the cdu and put the load that they give you for example they say clear to start 25 passengers and 300 cargo and luggage go ahead and put it in the scratch pad 25 and then slash 300 that will give uh, an access to the captain for the load because he'll be verifying the zero fuel weight from the uh, paper checklist located in the airplane. If they say like Okay, so now you got the uh, clearance to start from terminal and the uh, person provided you with the uh, load sheet in indicating how many passengers are on board and their location in the airplane. So therefore, okay, let me just erase this. Uh, therefore, we'll go to the OPT now and we'll go to the passenger tab. And here you'll put the uh, passenger distribution. ACM if you have any here. So let's say he gave you 5, 10, 20. And just for an example, if, if the load is a little bit heavy on the uh, on the forward side of the uh, of the envelope, then uh, just as an example, for example, there's a 30 passengers on the uh, forward section. You see here the amber here indicating, and if you check that the load is below the maximum, so it's going to be the uh, the weight and balance is outside the envelope, as you can see here. So before you do anything, just enter the rest of the info, like the cargo load. So for example here in the cargo we have 500 and the aft cargo and you can see it went back twice indicating that it is within uh, the envelope now. Uh, so now you will uh, read the zero fuel weight to the captain, in this case 99 decimal 3 and you as a captain will be entering 99 decimal 3. So in the zero fuel weight 99 decimal 3, then the captain will read the gross weight 118 decimal 2. Therefore, we'll verify that weight with the taxi weight. In this example, since we are using two different configurations for this example, the numbers are, match are not matching. But in the real airplane, they should match uh, and be uh, very close to each other, at least within plus or minus 200 maximum. So therefore, we'll verify the uh, weight, and he said affirmative. And then the FO will go to the uh, takeoff performance page and calculate. And when you do that, you need to advise the captain that you are calculating runway three for right, right uh, three for right in the mom runway try, and then calculate. Uh, the, the first thing that you need to read to the captain is the assumed temperature. So in this case, 61. So the captain will be pressing N1 limit here and then entering the assumed temperature 61. And you'll select it to the temperature here. 
and then he will go to take off base. And therefore, first we'll go with the flaps. So flaps five now, flaps five. And then therefore, read the CG eighteen decimal six, and the captain will enter eighteen decimal six. And then the uh, copilot will read the trim setting that it is uh, indicated in the OBT in this example it was six. So the captain will uh, set uh, six units in the uh, start trim. Again, the numbers here uh, should be close to each other. But since uh, the example is done on two different configurations, a bit different. After the uh, captain sets the uh, step trim, the first officer will read V1, 1, 2, 2, VR, 1, 2, 3, V2, 1, 2, 6. And then the captain will verify if it is the same number, then you just line select it from here. If it is different, then enter it manually. And usually they will differ maximum by one, not two, not maximum. But again, because of the different configurations here. So V1, 1, 2, 2, VR, 1, 2, 3. And V2, 1, 2, 6. Okay, now therefore I need to send the performance takeoff and landing dispatch performance to the operation. So press send output. And you need to do it for the takeoff and landing. So go ahead and calculate for landing dispatch as well. And then send output, send via email. Then we press send via email. The email will be defaulted to the operation. And you need just to change the subject here. You need to add the uh, required subject line, which is the tail number, departure airport ICAO code, dash destination ICAO, and the delta number. And then send it and repeat the same process again for the uh, landing dispatch. After that, uh, as uh, an FO, go ahead to the uh, IQRH, open the uh, for start checklist and standby. Whoever is doing the, uh, whoever is pilot flying for that leg will continue his briefing, indicating how the flaps in one setting, the trim, and verify to the stab trim in the airplane, and V1, such and such, VR, V2, and the takeoff will wait just to verify that it is below max takeoff weight. So now the box is set and the OBT was completed for this uh, flight. Uh, the next video is going to be uh, to continue the before start procedure. So we'll see you then. Thank you.